What's good, everyone? It's your main man, Destroyers here, back again on some Forza 6. This time around, coming at you with the Holden Commodore VL build. First things first, went ahead and dropped a V8 in it. You know, as usual with you know most cars on this game, V8 is life. We got sport tires, 245s in the front, 285s in the rear. Yeah, I think it's on. Yeah, it's on stock rims, drivetrain. That's all race, brakes, race. You know, race suspension, race, race, cage, full cage, race weight, twenty five hundred pounds. Uh, engine. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I did quite a bit to the engine. So race intake, race manifold, race fuel, race ignition. Race exhaust, god damn. Race cams. Race valves. Is this a fully built NAV8? It is. Uh, let's see. Race pistons. Yep. It looks to be fully built, and it is. I'm gonna even check the flywheel because I already know. Uh, okay, I didn't want to test drive yet. Now, mind you, this is a car I built a while ago. I mean, like, before Horizon 3 came out, so. Yeah. Uh,. So there's the tires 2025 for the PSI gears pretty sure they're stock just a final drive change uh, 1.8 and 0.2 0.2 in the rear 7 caster wow stock roll bars okay wow wow I, I, I really thought they were race roll bars sorry about that 469 369 slammed 5.9 Four nine for the rebound, four five three eight for the bump, sixty eighty seven for the brakes, and a hundred and fifty for the dip. I guess it, I guess it worked on the controller, so I guess we're gonna just see if it works on the wheel. I'm hoping it does. Gonna find out. Mm -hmm. Turn the clutch back on. Gonna give cockpit a chance here. Oh shit. We're just holding the e brake. Alright, come on, car. Too hard. I have to say, oh, I looked at OBS for a second, I don't know why. I was going to say, I have to say that made kind of an improvement just being able to get through this track without bouncing off the walls as much now that I say that we all, we all know that it's gonna happen Pretty sure you're supposed to carry that all the way out, but I'm not quite up at that skill level on the wheel just yet. But I mean, for being a controller tune, this thing is doesn't feel half bad. I'm liking it, I'm not gonna lie. I might even put weight back in it just to see if it feels any better, honestly.
Don't ask what I tried to do there, because I don't even know. I'm getting that entry all wrong. Switch back to third person. Got a police break there. Oh, my God. God, it probably looked just as bad. Like, oh my god. If I was driving like that while I was on Cockpit View, and I thought I was doing good, oh my god. Lines are so off on the wheel. It's it's sad, really, is what it is. can't get that exit right. <clears throat> I can't get that exit right and then the transition into the turn before that. The, I guess, second turn in either, either which way you go. absolute shite. Strike forth. Nope. Oh! The tire tab just killed me. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's try hood view. I think I'm just getting too, like, I'm getting too lazy on the wheel. I need to be more active on it, you know what I mean? Like, I need to not just expect it to sit there. What am I doing? Started off alright. Halfway through the video, start doing shit. Maybe I need to up the the steering rotation. I know I'm on 3:30. Maybe I need to up it. Obviously, I can't tune like most most people on wheels that are using 270, and they're just locked to lock. All right, 
after this part of the section, we're in that straight, and we're gonna try to hit the big, uh, big turn in the back. Oh, terrible. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my. Could have gone a lot worse. Not gonna lie. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed. It's your main man, Destroyers. Get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys later.